everyone, welcome to my channel, and um, welcome back if you are one of my viewers already. And so, I'm just gonna say a quick little introduction to this channel if you are new here. So, basically, this is a channel where I talk about different animals, and soon I'll talk about plants. And so, like, uh, this channel is really just about how important our Earth is, and and so it's. I just really wanted to create a channel like this. So I encourage everyone to save Earth. Um, today we're talking about the pygmy hippopotamus. I haven't posted. If you guys didn't realize, I didn't post for like I don't know how long, four months maybe about. Mm, last time I posted was September thirtieth. So I guess. And so today I just wanted to make a quick little video because it took me forever to make this Google Slides because um, there's a lot of new things that happened in my life. So, and I had to get started with them. So I, I just didn't have a lot of time, but I'm really glad that I did have time. So the pygmy hippopotamus is a hippo who cannot swim. And you'll learn about that a little bit later. Let's begin. Okay, so here's the, oh, quick facts. That means like different facts, like about generally what they are. So I just basically need to hand this over to future me who will, who will tell you about these quick little facts. They'll, she'll tell you all about them, okay? So I'll see you guys later because well, future me's gonna see you later. See you later. So hi, welcome. Uh, we're talking about quick facts today because apparently past me invited future me to talk about these quick facts. And you can go back of uh, the video, rewind it, and see what the quick facts were. So first, I'm just gonna draw a very quick diagram I'm, I'm on my ipad if you can't tell okay so oh my god that's really zoomed in okay uh okay so this is a, what basically what a pygmy hippo looks like i'm not good at drawing okay so oh that looks so bad how can a person possibly be that bad at drawing so it's a pygmy hippo I'm, I'm not going to try drawing it, okay? You already saw it in the background, but their lifespan, lifespan, oh my god, why is it an eraser? Life span is like about like 42 to 55 years, 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 don't worry. It's in years. So then we had to do how many days then? We had to, oh, I'm not doing that. Not right now. It's not math class. So it's about 42 to 55 years. Now it's 42 to 55 years. And a lifespan is basically how long they live. Like say I live 100 years old. Mm, I don't think that's going to happen to be honest. And and apparently they can, they're they actually considered one of the longer life animals. And that's in the wild because it's different when you're in the wild and in captivity. So in the wild, in the wild, they survive 42 to 55 years. Of course, an average because not all, not all do that. That would be ridiculous. Okay, so their scientific name is... I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce all of these, of these scientific names, but basically this is its scientific name. I think how you pronounce it is uh, Coralpisis liberinesis. Well, Scientific names are basically names that scientists give animals for some apparent reason. I don't know, okay? But once I know, I'll tell you guys for sure. And if you guys know, you can always let me know in the comments. 
So next is their animal kingdom. Uh, not a kingdom, nothing to do with kings and, you know, queens. Nope, nothing to do with that. Big red cross. What it's basically um, has to do with is what they're like what type they are of animal like they might be a mammal or they might be hmm or a reptile or something that lays eggs and in this case pygmy hippos are mammals like us so a mammal is basically you know basically they they breathe air they breathe air so wait mm. Air. They breathe air because some don't breathe air, believe it or not. They breathe air and then they don't lay eggs. Eggs? No. And they give birth to live young, if you don't have any idea what that means. Meaning that they, they kind of poop out their babies. Sorry if I ruined your appetite. But they, they don't lay eggs. I'm just going to clear this because I am tired of racing. Okay, so the next one is how speed, their speed, average speed, of course, is pretty fast, actually, 30 kilometers per hour. That's actually kind of fast for an animal, of course. So our cars is like, our cars is like 65 miles per hour. Oh, and also you can learn more about a car's engine on uh, my brother's YouTube channel called too smart so you know it's in my channel or i'll put it in the link below next is their weight an average adult weight don't worry about the adult oh I'll, I'll call it to babies later so an average adult would be 100 180 to 275 kilograms which is a little bit heavy not as heavy as me, though, because I'm kind of heavy. <laughs> okay. And by the way, my recording is terrible. Um, ignore that. <laughs> so, they're basically an adult. Adult. Why did I have to write that in caps? And, of course, most of these, when you do quick facts, is basically average. So... They're average. Average adult. Uh, average would be like this big. 180 to 275 kilograms. Which kilo means a thousand. So 180,000 grams. Actually, I don't know how it works like that. But something like that. Okay, so the next one is... Um, a baby. Average baby would be very tiny. 10 to 14 14 pounds pounds why did i have to write pounds out i could have just wrote this literally okay so 10 to 14 pounds that's actually kind of heavy for a baby and you'll find out why later after past me will tell you okay <laughs> sounds so weird Okay, next is their height for an average adult. And an average adult is their height. Of course, oh my god. Digital whiteboards. <laughs> 75 to 100 centimeters. So, you know, they're kind of big in a way because you see the number 100. But, of course, it's centimeters. I need a ruler. But they're not that big, but they are big. Bigger than a baby, at least. Actually, I never got the height for a baby. Hmm. That might be an issue. Uh, I'll tell you guys later. And they are also pre kosher New. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. So, basically, they... They are mature when they're born. They're like mature. I hope I'm precocial. I want to be mature when I'm born. So they're mature when they're born. And I'm running out of time because it's all, it's been like eight minutes already. So they're precocial, which means they're mature when born. 
like I don't know what that really means. I think it means like when you're born, you can you're not blind, you're not you're not anything. I guess. But basically it means mature when born. And they're solitary. Uh, why do I when I try to do S, it always comes out as an eight. Mm, solitary. So what does solitary mean? They live alone, but most animals are solitary until they mate. Until they mate, which is usually during a mating season. And pygmy hippo is one of them, I guess. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom through the back. Their group name is either a bloat. Group name. Like, you know how, like, I don't know, herd a group? Like, you've seen animals in, like, a group. And I'm doing hand motions, even though you can't see me. A It's called a bloat, a herd, thunder, which is actually kind of cool. I never knew that. Thunder or a pod or a school, like a school of fish. Of course, I can't fit it all because my handwriting is huge. School. But... So that's their, basically their group name. And if you forgot, just take it down right now. I'll say it very slowly. A bloat, a herd, a thunder, a pod, or a school. You know, there's a lot of different things. Grazing animals. They're grazing. Do you know what that means? It's actually kind of simple. Grazing means they're kind of herbivores. They graze on grass. And they're nocturnal, meaning they're... Um, they're mostly, they're active during the night, okay? And they're herbivores, like I said before, meaning they eat vegetables. They don't eat meat. All right, I'm going to pass it on to past me. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Of course, I had to write bye on the whiteboard. It's just so satisfying. Okay, bye. So, hello, everyone. I am back. I hope you enjoyed that 10 minute thing about this whole slide. And there's only like a few facts. I know, I love doing facts, but we're gonna move on. Okay, so that's a Thanksgiving special. It's not Thanksgiving anymore. Um, it's just a turkey, I really like it. So we have here, pygmy hippos are hard to spot in the wild, not only because they are endangered, but also because they like hiding. So, but endangered is one of the reasons why you can't see them. But hiding is one of the main ones. Okay, so on to our first fact. It's pygmy hippos are not a miniature version of the common hippo. So the common hippo is just a normal hippo that we all know of, right? So although pygmy hippos are hip and hippos are distant cousins, they are not miniature and giant versions of each other. This is why scientists give them each different names. Not pygmy hippos and hippos, but the scientific names. Like I mentioned before, the common hippo scientific name is hippopotamus, hippopotamus amphibious, I think, and caropusus laborus. That's at least the pygmy hippos. Um, Scientific name. Pygmy hippos have a rounder, shorter snout with smaller nostrils. Their feet are less webbed than their cousins because they spend more time on land than in the water. Pygmy, pygmy hippos have greenish black skin and produce a pinkish fluid called blood sweat, which is a little scary. And that protects them from their skin in some way and harmful bacteria. But you'll learn more about that later. And I don't know why the color just changed, don't ask me. So that's the image of the common hippo, that's the image of the pygmy. They're both kind of cute though. Okay, we got a new character and pygmy hippos evolved from pigs and hogs. So that's probably why they're called pygmy. Mm, I don't know. But they evolved, and evolved just means like, I don't know, they got updated from something, I guess? If you know how to describe it better, please let me know in the comments, because I would really appreciate that. Okay, baby pygmy hippos can get heavy quickly. Remember I said, uh, I think future me said, uh, that, they, that babies are kind of heavy 
So this is why. When pi baby pygmy hippos are born, their size is a bit bigger than a piggy bank and only weigh five to six kilograms. The mother tends to her young until weaning at around eight months old. Until that time, the baby consumes a lot of milk. At one month old, the baby pygmy hippo weighs three times their birth weight. And at five months, they weigh 10 times their birth weight. Now this is a strange thing to happen, but it's very normal. That's the Christmas special, okay, right there. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Pygmy hippos can't sweat. And this probably will be like a part one, part two video because there's a lot of facts in here. So probably part one and part two. So hang on to your horses. The, so pygmy hippos sleep on the ground, mostly in caves. So the daytime hours are spent resting in the water or on the water, river bank. <laughs> Pygmy hippos sleep on the ground, typically in caves of burrows. Each site is used for only a few days, since these hippos change their sleeping quarters once or twice a week. Sometimes they sleep in the water. They can rest up to 16 hours a day. For some reason, pygmy hippos sleep in the caves and burrows. I think this is because it's just cool in caves, and pygmy hippos live mostly in West Africa, where it was very warm. It can be up to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, also known as 28 degrees Celsius, in summer. And in winter, it can be 64 degrees Fahrenheit, also known as 18 degrees Celsius. And even winter, it's kind of hot. Mm, if only the winter here would be that hot. <laughs> now we have a rhino. That kind of looks like a pygmy hippo. Pygmy hippos have a four-chamber belly. I still have no idea what that means. I'll search it up later, I promise. Okay, so pygmy hippos are sometimes silent, snorting, grunting, hissing, and making squeaky noises, but they're most of the time silent. Pygmy hippos do indeed make noises, but most of the time they are silent. Pygmy hippos use body language to communicate most of the time. Most people think that pygmy hippos make noises only sometimes because they want to warn others. This is a good guess. However, we don't understand pygmy hippo language if only we could. Sometimes they even wheeze. An example of a pygmy hippo's body language is what is wagging their tail like a dog. I think they do this because they want to show how excited or happy they are. Do you agree? Because dogs do that. Okay, so this time we have a giraffe. Pygmy hippo's closest non-hippo relative is the whale. Actually, I made that a fact. I made that a fact actually somewhere and you'll learn more about that later. Pygmy hippos eat herbs, broad-leaved plants, se grasses, semi-aquatic plants, because they don't eat aquatic plants, sorry, aqu semi-aquatic, herbivores, shoots, forbs, sedges, ferns, as well as occasionally fallen fruits. I love fallen fruits. I like fruits, I don't like fallen them. <laughs> Pygmy hippos eat many things. It is mentioned above. A pygmy hippo can consume as much as 100 to 150 pounds of grass per night because they are nocturnal. Right, 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 night. <laughs> Even though they eat so much, common hippos are still bigger. Still, it looks like their favorite food are ferns, broadly plants, and fallen fruits. They don't really eat everything else, but they occasionally eat it. Eat it, sorry. Pygmy hippos eat only semi-aquatic plants when you want them to eat aquatic plants, mostly because they are herbivores. They don't eat aquatic plants. We have an owl, he's gonna teach us. Pygmy hippos are very shy. That's probably why they like to hide. Hmm, what slide am I even on? Slide eight, how many slides are there? There's 13, so we're gonna get up to at least um, 10. No, yeah, 10 about. Pygmy hippos can't swim, but they can gallop in the water. So I'm not actually gonna read this. You can read about it on your own self, but I'm just gonna explain basically what this is. They can't swim, like I mentioned in the first slide but they gallop in the water or do weird ballet moves or like walking, just normal walking. And you'll learn more of that in part two. They can't swim, but they gallop. 
so it's kind of weird, but they can do a lot of stuff underwater because they are more adapted to land than common hippos. So that's probably why. They can't swim though. They usually just sink to the bottom and then they just rise up. And then that's a pygmy hippo in Marwell Zoo, just kind of quotation marks swimming around because he's not swimming. Where is a she? I have no idea, but I'm going to end part two right here because I think you've got to have enough of me talking. So I will see you in the next part, part two of Pygmy Hippos. See you guys later.